Labor Law MRL 3702 Chapter 1 General Labor Law consists of two main components Individual Labor Law and Collective Labor Law Individual Labor Law It includes topics such as the formation of the employment relationship, the content of the relationship, and the termination of the relationship. The assumption here is that employment, that the employment relationship exists between two single entities, i.e., a single employer and a single employee. Collective labor law. It focuses on relationships on a collective level. In other words, a number of people are acting together collectively to influence this relationship. Collective labor law looks at groups. For example, collective entities such as trade unions and employee uh, and employer organizations. The most important legislation regarding labor law is the Labor Relations Act. 1995 Basic Conditions of Employment Act 1997 Employment Equity Act 1998 Skills Development Act 1998 Occupational Health and Safety Act 1993 and the Mine Health and Safety Act 1996. Chapter 2. Exclusive protection for employees in terms of legislation. What is an employment contract? The contract of employment is a voluntary agreement between two parties in terms of which one party, the employee, places his or her labor potential at the disposal and under the control. Of the other party, the employer, in exchange for some form of remuneration. Who is an employee? The Labor Relations Act, Basic Condition of Employment Act, Employment Equity Act, and SDA Skills Development Act all use the same de definition of an employee. And employee, an employee is any person excluding an independent contractor who works for another person or for the state and who receives or is entitled to receive any remuneration. Repeat, an employee is any person excluding an independent contractor who works for another person or for the state and who receives or is entitled to receive any remuneration. And B, 
any person who in any manner assists in carrying on or conducting the business of an employer. Repeat, any person who in any manner assists in carrying on or conducting the business of an employer. Part A of the definition includes both employees in the private sector and the public sector. The definition also includes domestic and farm workers as employees. Part A incorporates the common law contract of service, locatio conduction operarum, and excludes the contract of work, which is locatio conduction operus, which relates to the contract of work.